Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is 20th lecture and today we will understand about setup and hold timing fixes in a timing path. We will see what are the general causes of timing violations in a setup or hold timing path and how can we fix it. Alright, let's get started. There are many ways of fixing the setup timing related violations and in general, the fix depends on what exactly is causing the violation. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the most commonly occurring issues in the setup related paths. So what are the common type of issues are present in the design and how can we fix it will be discussing here. Let's take this timing path for an example. So in this case, TCQ delay is around let's say 100 picoseconds. So we will write down here 100 picoseconds or we can write it as 0.1 NS, right? Now let's say these are the three different standard cells which are present in the design. These are the logic gates which are present in your timing path. So the delay of this cell is let's say we assume it around 250 PS. 250 PS. For this also it is around 250 PS. And this cell which is in between it has around 200 PS. So all these are in PS, in NS it will be 0 0.25, 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 and total will come around as 700. So total combo delay, T combo we will write as, so this is 0 0.7 NS. Now let's assume that your clock period is 1 NS. Let's also assume that you have skew and jitter so that will consider under uncertainty portion so we will write is at t uncertainty of let's say 250 picoseconds that will be 0 0.25 ns now let's also assume that you have library setup time of 50 ps so tsu library setup is let's say 50 ps in fact, let's just increase it to 100. So let's say library setup time is actually 100 PS. Now with that in mind, arrival time here will be actually let's say this much. So this is arrival time which is combination of TCQ plus T combo. We have already explained this in the previous videos and link of that disk is given in the description below. Now setup time is also 100 PS. Now with this calculation you can calculate your required time. So required time will be actually around 1 minus 0 0.25 that is your uncertainty portion and your library setup time which is 0 0.1. So that will come down to about 0 0.65 nanoseconds. Now you can clearly see that it is lesser than arrival time which means your data will be arriving late. You want your data to arrive at 0.65 nanosecond or before this. So your arrival time should be at least lesser than this or maybe equal to this. That would be critical case. But your arrival time cannot be greater than this. And we know that here arrival time is actually greater than your required time, which is around if you calculate your slack. So slack would be 0 0.65 minus 0 0.7. So that is around 50 PS of violation, around minus 60, 50 PS. Your 50 PS is violating. You can write it as violating. To fix the violation of 50 PS, the target is to improve the logic path delay. We can do so by upsizing of logic gates. If your logic gate have poor drive strength or if it is having the lesser drive strength, then by upsizing the logic gate, we are essentially improving the cell delay, which in turn improves our arrival time and hence the slack will improve. Second possibility of poor cell delay could be bad net transition. Bad net transition could be because of either a higher net detour which increases the net length. If net length increases then RC delay of the net increases which degrades the transition of signal and hence the cell delay increases. Hence our aim in such case is to improve the net routing. So improving of net routing could be done either by reducing the detour in the net or by taking the net to a higher metal layer which offers the lower metal resistance. Third most possible cause of the bad cell delay 
is higher fan out on the output of the cell. If the cell is driving the load more than its capacity, then its performance degrades since it is not characterized for driving that much load. Hence, either we can swap the cell with similar functionality and a higher driving capability, but also we can split the load. So these are the two fixes for improving the cell delay if cell is driving load more than its capacity. So far we have explained the most possible causes which leads to setup timing violations and what can be done to fix these. But there could be a lot more other factors which would lead to setup timing violations. The uncommon violations would be covered in the future videos when there is a scope for it. We have only covered the most common causes which any designer would be facing in a design. In next video we shall be explaining whole time violations and how to fix them in a similar fashion like in this video. That's all for today. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and give your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you.